Welcome. Um, so in this case, what we have is 10x plus 5y equals 80. And what we want to do is solve for y. So we want to get y by itself. We want to isolate the variable. So to be able to do that, I need to apply my inverse operation. So I look at my y, and sometimes I like to do is circle it. And I take a look and I say, all right, what is happening to the variable? Well, you can obviously see that the variable is being multiplied by 5. And a lot of times this gets confusing. but um, we see this addition sign. That really has not, that just means that 5 is positive. But what is the 10x doing? That you can say 5y is being added to the 10x, but what is the 10x doing to the y? And this is a positive. If I was going to rewrite this equation, we could rewrite it like this because that's a, sorry, that is a positive 10x. So when rewriting it, you can see that, oh, the 10x is being added to the y. So we always, when we're, when we're solving, we need to make sure we use our reverse order of operations, meaning I need to undo addition and subtraction first. Well, since my y is being added to 10x, or 10x is being added to my y, I'm going to subtract 10x. Therefore, I have 5y. That um, subtracts to 0. Now, 80 and negative 10x are not like terms. This has an x. This does not have an x. So we cannot combine them. So I can write this as 80 minus 10x. However, in this course and in future courses, when we're writing our um, linear equations or quadratic, we always want to write them in standard form. We like to have the variable first and always our constant at the end. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5y equals negative 10x plus 80. Since that 80 is positive, there's no negative sign in front. It's going to be plus 80. Now, all I need to do is undo the multiplication of y. So therefore, I'll divide by 5. Their y equals, now again, this 5 divides into both of these terms. It's very, very important for us to be able to understand that. So 5 divides into negative, two, negative 10x, negative 2x times. And 5 divides into 80. Well, 5 divides into 40 eight times. And then so double that would be 16. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a literal equation for y. Thanks.